In this short video, I will explain to you how to get up and running with PNP PowerShell. So the first thing you have to do is to actually install it. And um, right now I will assume you're running on Windows 10. And the easiest way to install it is effectively by opening Windows PowerShell and then entering the following command. Install module, the name, and then you enter the name of the PowerShell library that you want to install. They come in various versions. Um, one of them, the most common one is uh, for SharePoint Online, uh, but we have versions for SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint 2016 too. But in this case, I will install the version for SharePoint Online. If this is the first time you will install um, a module uh, using install module, you might be getting the question if you want to install NuGet, um, just confirm that question. I did it already. So in this case, I press enter and um, it will connect uh, to the internet right now. Uh, go to the uh, PowerShell gallery, that is www.powershellgallery.com and we'll find the module there. Right now, this gallery is not being set as a trusted repository and on my machine, you can change that if you want to, but in my case, I just leave it as is. And you can confirm per module if you want to install it, yes or no. And in this case, I just say yes. It will now uh, connect again to the PowerShell gallery, download the package and install it for you. After it has been installed, make sure that you close PowerShell and reopen it. After you have installed the commandlets, um, the first thing you will have to do is to uh, build up a connection towards your site. And you do that with the connect PNP online commandlet. So I enter connect PNP online URL and I enter the URL of my site connection. If I press enter, I will be prompted for a username and a password. And from this moment on, I have an active connection that I can use. This connection stays active throughout the, the lifetime of PowerShell. So if I close PowerShell and reopen PowerShell, you will have to connect again. So now I can say get PMP list, for instance, to show a whole list of all the uh, lists in my SharePoint site. We have similar commandlets for fields. We also command commandlets to create lists, create fields, add content types, remove content types, add fields to content types, etc. And there are over 250 commandlets available. Uh, to get an overview of all the commandlets that are available, I uh, would like to refer to docs.microsoft.com. Here is docs.microsoft.com. If you go to docs.microsoft.com slash SharePoint, you can leave the language code out uh, initially. If you go to SharePoint, you will end up on this uh, landing page. Here in the middle, you see Share PowerShell reference for SharePoint. Click on there. There's the patterns and practices link. And here's a reference of all the PNP commandlets and all the work you do. And you can filter here. So like for instance, if I say content type, You see that there's a few uh, applicable for SharePoint Online, and then we have a whole list of um, SharePoint PNP PowerShell. If you want to go and use PNP PowerShell to automate tasks, um, it is uh, it's smart to set up uh, PowerShell a bit different, and and the way to do that is as follows. So if you go to um, uh, you notice that when I did a connect PNP online that you, I was uh, prompted for a username and a password. And, and obviously when you do automation, that's not really that helpful. So the way forward there is that you go to your credential manager and in your credential manager, you add a new generic credential. And here you enter uh, the address of your site. Now, notice that I don't add sites slash demo one in this case. You can obviously do that, but if you just leave that out, this will act as a wildcard. So for every site collection that starts with HTTPS colon slash slash and then the host name, it will use these credentials. So if I now enter my username and my password, this is now stored. I can go back here and say connect PNP online sharepoint.com slash sites demo one press enter see there's no prompt i'm automatically connected if i connect to another site 
it will just automatically connect me to that other site without prompting me for a username and a password. And, and this is ideal in, in those situations where you want to write PowerShell scripts that run at scheduled intervals and you don't want to be prompted for a user D and a password in that case. There are various other ways of using Connect PNP online, uses access tokens, etc. Uh, but for those, again, I refer to the documentation. This was it for now. Thank you. <laughs>